<laughs> Hello. We here at the Big Bad B Movie Show love digging into the movies that we're showing for the evening by sharing movie facts with you, the viewers at home. We never really get to talk to the actors who are starring in the films. And a lot of the films that we show are older, but we did get a chance to talk recently with Caroline Williams, star of the 1986 cult classic Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. We had the opportunity to catch up with Caroline at a recent fan convention and asked her to share with us some of her favorite memories from being on set. Caroline, it is such a pleasure having you here. I am thrilled to be here. Hello, Big Bad Movie Show fans. I had one of these when I was a kid. So this is like memory lane for me. That's, a, this was always a white whale toy for me and it was a toy I asked for every Christmas, never got one. I don't know if my mom was afraid of the metal or the light bulb. I never, also never had an easy bake oven. So <laughs> did you have I one of those? <laughs> easy bake oven, chatty Kathy, who was scary as hell. <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my favorite because they're like, it's sort of like Cthulhu on one of them. And the other one's sort of like a tarantula. I'm going green, baby. Going green? I'm going green. Actually, I'm going to go green, and I'm going to go blue. You got to shake it down, <laughs> baby. Still not coming out. We'll have some blisters. <laughs> Look at mine. It's all over the place. It's just a mess. Here's my Cthulhu. He's got tail. Now, when was the last time you did this? Because I think for me, it was definitely 1992. I used to make these at my friend's house. My mother would not allow it in the house because it was messy. And so we would go to her house because she had 13 brothers and sisters. So it's like, you know, this, this looks like hell. It just look, come on, man. This is like bad, but we're, we're going with it. Let's put yours in first. Okay. Yeah, because you want me to fail first. Cthulhu's in the oven. Can you tell me about your beginnings in Texas? Houston, Texas was a limited market, but I did really well there. I got hired for my very first job in 1984. Louis Maul hired me for Alamo Bay with Ed Harris and Amy Madigan. And it kicked things off nicely in Texas. I had actually done some fairly high profile Hollywood gigs when Toby came to town to cast Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I had sort of, in, in a previous audition, I'd gotten a lot more physical with the role I was reading for because it called for physical action. And I wanted to make a big, you know, bang with these, uh, with the director and producer, and it worked. And I'd gotten hired for a previous job, The Legend of Billy Jean, where I pretended I was in a car wreck. And I turned my chair over and I crawled out from under it and it was awesome and I got hired. <laughs> And I read the, the script for Chainsaw 2, and it didn't have a lot of dialogue. It had, they live on fear, they live on fear. Everything else was just the action of running down the hallway into the ice house and slamming the door, and they live on fear. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to play the action. They're looking for somebody who, can, who, who will embrace being an action figure. And that's what I did. I ran down the hallway screaming. I burst into the room. I pulled the chairs out from under Toby and Kit and I piled them up against the door and I backed into a corner saying they live on fear, they live on fear. It kind of works to take risks like that. They didn't hire me on the spot, but they, they had no place to sit, so they were standing there. But they walked in very, very closely to me. They'd auditioned more than 400 girls for the part. New York, LA. But Toby wanted somebody from Texas. He was really devoted to that vision. I get emotional about it. It's given me everything I have. It's an amazing it gift. It really like has. You. And you know, that can't be overstated. Toby Hooper plucked me out of nowhere. I mean, literally, I was doing some movies, but nothing had really popped. And then this happened. And the movie has had such a life of its own uh, in theaters, on video, and now on the convention circuit where you meet the fans and they're still showing up. Here we go. I don't want Turning Caroline, around. I don't want Caroline to burn her little hands because she needs those to sign all of the autographs for the fans this weekend. Here. Oh okay. no. Let's see what, oh, it's hard. Seriously? <laughs> oh, it did, I think it worked. 
it came out in one piece. That's good. It came, well, and I we mean, just need to trim it. Fr we just got to trim it, pull off these things without. Ah. Oh, geez. The longer they stay in here cooling. Oh, does it harden up oh, too much? Oh, it hardens up. I'm using my nails. I have no nails. I cut them all off. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed this so much, and thank you very much, Big B Movie Show, for having me on. Big Bad B Movie Show. Big Bad B Movie Show. Big Bad B Movie Show. <laughs> I'm going to get one of these.